Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Just Being Dale. And today we have Patrice Colors, one of the founders of Black Lives Matter. And she's here to say that Candace threatened her safety by coming outside of her house. So what happened was, she said she was home and all of a sudden her doorbell rang. When she went outside, standing there was Candace Owens with a news crew. This morning I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside, um, and, uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property, uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another black woman who is actually working as a part of a right wing agenda comes outside of my house with cameras. Um, as you all know, I've experienced and many of us have experienced death threats. Um, many of us are ch have children. And so when she says she's been experiencing death threats and things, you know when you have a founder of somewhere like Black Lives Matter, there's going to be some people who feel all lives matter, but not getting the point of where they saying black lives matter. And so when it's something different that doesn't really include everybody, people are going to threaten you. Plus, the black lives matter has some heat on them because of some of the funding and things they've received from different organizations they have used for personal use. And Patrice was one of the people who were named for doing that. The Black Lives Matter organization has just over a month to file required IRS financial reports for 2021. This as questions continue over the group's funding and how it's been spent. Senior national correspondent William Lajeunesse takes a look. Well, any nonprofit is required every year to submit detailed financial reports, what it raises, where the money goes, and that's what this is about. Black Lives Matter claims it raised $90 million in 2020, but documents filed for that year showed zero coming in, zero going out. Then California temporarily banned BLM from soliciting or distributing charity funds because it failed to file financial reports for 2021 prompting a charity watchdog group to say this, quote, the total lack of transparency and accountability at BLM is alarming. It's incumbent on the attorney general to launch a full investigation of BLM's finances and governance. BLM filed an extension for 21 and now has until May 15th to submit the required IRS forms, detailing again how donor money is spent and where it came from. A recent New York Magazine story reported that an associate of BLM founder Patrice Cullors bought this mansion in Los Angeles for 5.8 million, then gifted it, record show, days later to a Delaware corporation hiding the real buyer, which was BLM, which leaked email show tried to kill the magazine story. Cullors, a self-described Marxist, resigned from BLM last year after being called out for buying several homes. The new mansion in L.A., says BLM, will serve as a studio for members. Nonprofit experts, however, say it's important BLM not commingle funds targeted for improving black lives with personal interests, a question raised last year by activists. We are also asking for an IRS investigation because people donated and we have a right to find out where our money was spent. No response from Colors. BLM says published reports, however, are wrong, but provided no proof. Congressman Daryl Issa is calling for an IRS investigation for what he calls a possible misappropriation of charitable funds. So in 2013, Patrice Colors, Alicia Garza, and Opal Tomati formed the Black Lives Matter Network. And it's supposed to be an online platform that exists to provide activists with a shared set of principles and goals. Okay, and then you have Candace Owens, 
who is an American conservative influence, an author, a talk show host, political commentator, and activist, seeing what y'all are being accused of. And of course she's going to open her mouth. Of course she wants to know answers. And if you're not going to give them to her as she asks, probably through email, through an interview, through anything, of course she's going to come to your door. Is that right? No. But can she do that? Yes. In America, reporters and things come knock on people's doors all the time. I'm not saying that it's safe. All I'm saying is they are allowed to do certain things. Um, many of us are um, uh, super vulnerable. And uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to keep doing the work I need to do to make sure that I'm in right relationship with my community, but I'm not going to let the right wing and right wing pundit, pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people, many other leaders inside of this movement, pay attention to what's happening. Because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates, the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms, that may next time be more violent. This is unacceptable. Black people should be able to fight for our rights, for our right to live without being harassed, without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives. Now don't come adding everybody in to why Candace Owens really came to your door. This is why she came to your front door with a news crew. Erica, you owe me an apology and I want my apology. Okay, because, you know, that was a long couple of years. If you guys calling me a, a race traitor because I refused to be an idiot and I was obviously recognizing the scam that was Black Lives Matter, I was obviously able to discern that they were using the faces of dead black people to get you guys to run around, act like fools, get your sons and daughters arrested in protests, wearing signs, painting streets, BLM, BLM, not realizing this is free marketing. This is how marketing works in business. Everybody ran around to be a billboard for Black Lives Matter. They got white people, you owe me an apology too, white liberals running around with their guilt, opening their wallets, bending down to Black Lives Matter. And nobody asked the question about where all the money was going. And you know that was really why she was at your door. And if I'm not mistaken, if she haven't had her baby yet, she's pregnant. So I don't think she came to harm anybody. I believe she's really just saying it's because she just doesn't want anybody to know where she lives and what's going on with the funds. Without having people, strangers show up to our private and personal property. I am, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, thank God. I called obviously my team. Um, thank God for, for community, for black community, for black movement community here in Los Angeles. And it's funny how she keeps bringing up community, black this and black that, but you don't stay in the black community. Especially according to Candace Owens, who's watching you on Instagram. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Colors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only I can describe it is she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way, we've got cameras in tow. So there's no way she can. It's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously. 
Patrice here is anti-police and so she's oh my god I think she's crying on this live pretending that she was harassed we like I said very politely to the guy is there anyone we can speak to um, my name's Candace Owens we never went over the gate it was just me ringing the doorbell trying to speak to someone he said absolutely nothing he started just recording us and we said okay if there's no one we can speak to we're gonna leave um Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this black lives matter lie is falling apart um and she doesn't know what to do i mean people are aware of the scam that is black lives matter she's intentionally limited the comments so you can't even comment on this post because i was going to comment and be like this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened so what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits when in reality she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions used the faces of black people took millions of dollars to fund herself to fund her lifestyle to fund her girlfriend and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live so patrice um this footage that we this story that we're covering is it's a, a significant one i have always been interested in the fraud that is black lives matter your fake tears your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and and asking if there was anyone that i could talk to because i was covering the story um not really gonna cut it patrice really really like y'all i really need my family to be safe I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. So just be diligent when you see shit in the media and you see shit that's being talked about, please be diligent. Because they are purposefully doing this. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people because they know that when we are together, we're stronger and they've seen what we've done this last decade. They've seen what we've done. Yes, we have seen what has happened, but that is not stopping Candace Owens from finding out the truth or what she feels is the truth about what happened to the funding. This is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding. Black people died. You used their faces to raise money. You demanded that the policing be stopped. You demanded that police officers be defunded, but you've got a private security detail um, outside of million dollar homes. It just doesn't work this way, sweetheart. And so what gets me is it's kind of funny that Candace is saying one thing and then you're saying another thing. We do really want to know where that funding went and we don't want you to feel like you're being harassed, but everybody needs answers. By activists. We are also asking for an IRS investigation because people donated and we have a right to find out where our money was spent i need us to be accountable i love y'all so much um pray for me pray for my family and pray and check on black organizers because this backlash that we're seeing the backlash is real and it's it's impacting our personal and everyday lives. So I love y'all a lot. Um, I'm gonna keep doing my work to be accountable and be in right relationship to the people I love and trust and that love and trust me. And I'll show up like I always do, messy and working hard and trying hard and with love and with joy. Um, and, I'll, and I'm gonna love y'all. Um, that's all I can do. I'm gonna love y'all. So please enjoy your Saturday. I'm gonna try to get back on track with mine. Um, and please take care of each other. I love y'all. Well, that was the last of what Patrice had to say on her live, but that wasn't deterring Candace Owens from finding out the truth. So hopefully we will find out the truth because she's not taking no for an answer and when you're under any type of minority organization you know you're going to be looked at so everything needs to be so, correct um the truth shall set you free or candace owen shall set you free girl because i'm about to tell the truth
All right, we're still filming. Bye. So I'm pretty sure when Candace Owens gets done, we'll probably know which side is the truth and what's really going on. Let me know down in the comments below about what you think about this entire situation. So, all right, you guys, that's all I have for you right now at the moment. Thanks for tuning in. Also, subscribe to the channel for more updates. Give me a thumbs up. Share if you care. And I'll talk to you guys later.